In this video, we will have to normalize our plot, but now not only the location on the x-axis is important for us, but also their respective intensities are important for us as well. So we cannot do the normalization of this from 0 to 1 because the intensity profile will be lost in that calculation. So we would like to keep the intensity as well. Then what we will have to do, we can do one way is to select this is the same data. The data is for wavelength here and the absorption intensity here for 2 nanometer, 4, 8, 20 and 40 nanometer particles. This we will have to normalize so that all the plots are here and their intensity is not compromised. So we will, uh, we cannot do the normalization from 0 to 1. So what we will do, one way is that we maximize our plot and now the one thing that we will have to keep in mind that first we will have to copy this row because when we will do changes to this one then it will change our legend so we will have to rewrite them again for that we just copy this one now select the plot here and inside this plot select first the curve now we see that all the plots have been selected so i will have to right click and first ungroup them and then i will have to select the i will have to first select the 40 nanometer curve and it is here and is I will see here that this one will be then changed so select this one and then go to analysis and then data manipulation vertical translate so I will vertically translate this one as I start vertical translation then you see here that it is changing the comment and it is telling us that how much we have translated this one we will have to uh, keep an eye on this value so that this value shouldn't turn this value shouldn't turn negative because then our plot would have gone below the axis the positive axis and as i go on translating this one i can see here that it is changing the comment that we are moving down so i do further translation and i reach close to the axis and i can see here that the values shouldn't turn negative now with this the value turn negative so i will keep it at this point so I have translated this one. Similarly, I will translate the rest. Now I will click here and I will say remove. So now I will translate the next one. Select it. Go to data manipulation, vertical translate. And now I will have to vertical translate this one as well. And I have to keep an eye on the value so that that value shouldn't turn negative and I will keep it here. Now as I am done with the translation, so now I will have to copy that legends back here 
and now they are here I will have to rescale my plot and maximize this plot and now go to the scale so the maximum over here we will have to keep 21,000 so I go here to the scale and I will do a little bit rearrangement so the x axis I will have to from 300 to 460 and I do apply it's done while the y axis is from 0 to 21,000 to apply this one and we are done with our normalization so in this one we are having now not only the location on x-axis but their respective intensities are preserved as well so this way we can remove the background while doing the translation and we can rearrange our plot in a better way another way to remove the background or the baseline from them means not going through the translation procedure but uh, just removing the baseline from them so what we can do is that we will select the plot and now the plot they are grouped so i will have to ungroup them i will select this one first and then go to analysis and then peak and baseline and then from peak analyzer i go to the open dialog so now date curve is here and i select here that i want to subtract the baseline from here so i will select this option and then i will click next so you see it has made a red line over here which means that the baseline has been selected is this red line and it is saying that it's a constant baseline mode and i say okay this is the value for the baseline subtraction and i say next and now if i do subtract this one then i see that it will come down to the axis and i say finish and it will generate me columns columns like this one that it is subtracted value subtracted value is from where subtracted value is actually from the j subtracted from j here this is our j column so now if i will plot this one then it will be without any background here so let me close this one but first generate all the values now i will select the this one so i know that this subtracted j is actually the 14 nanometer then i select my plot and i select this and i go again to the peak analyzer and then open dialog so it is here and i select again subtract baseline and now i select next and next and you see if i subtract this one i finish this one so it would have generated two more columns here and those columns are these one that they, they are being subtracted from h similarly i can go on for the rest
Now all the base lines are actually here. So I will call this one 40 nanometer. This one I will call 20 nanometer. Similarly, this one 8 nanometer. This one 4 nanometer. And this one two nanometer now I will have to plot them the two nanometer the four nanometer eight nanometer and 20 by pressing control and selecting them and I do plot now my plot is ready and I will have to do a little bit of rescaling here and the rescaling here is that I click here and I do the 300 on the x-axis from 300 to 460 and on the y-axis from 0 to 2100 21,000 and I select OK now the plot is ready we can see here that here 2 nanometer has come down and 4 and 8 and this because the order is reverse here the order is reverse here if we want to make them in order we can make another worksheet here and then we can paste them in order like that so this way we can do it automatically with the baseline subtraction